Class 9, exercise 9.3, question number 5. First of all, I will look at the given equation. First equation is 7x plus 11y minus 1 equal to 0. So I have a constant term at the left hand side again. So I have to move this to the right hand side. So this will become 7x plus 11y equal to 1. This will be our equation 1. And the second part, we have the correct linear equation 8x plus 13y equal to 2. So I do not have to make any change here. So it will become our equation 2. <coughs> So now by looking at the variable of x and y, I will choose x because it has lower number 7 and 8 as y has 11 and 13. So I am concentrating on the x. So I will interchange this as the multiply and multiplication of the equation 8 and 7. Okay, so it will, we will have the similar uh, variable of x. Multiplying, multiplying equation 1 by 8 and equation 2 by 7, we get. So, if I multiply equation 1 by 8, 8 7 is our 56 x plus 8 into 11. 88 y and 81 is 8 this will become our equation 3 so second equation will be multiplied by 7 7 into 8 56 x plus 7 into 13 7 3 is 21 91 y equal to 7 2 is 14 so we are having uh, the variable of x as similar but both have positive so i have to use what adding or subtracting yes i have to use subtracting okay subtracting equation four from three we get we get so 56 x plus 88 y equal to eight Subtracting 56x plus 91y equal to 14. So it is subtraction. So I have to change all the sign the opposite way. Okay. So so now I have 56x minus 56x. That means if you can say each other, we zero that out next we have plus 88 minus 90y 91y so the sign will be minus plus into minus is minus i have to subtract this okay 91 minus 88 is 3y okay 3y and from the constant term as well i have minus 14 and plus 8 so the sign will be what minus very good so 14 minus 8 is 6 okay so, as I have minus and minus at the right hand side and the left hand side, I can cancel it out. So, I am left with 3y equal to 6, which is y is equal to 6 by 3, which will be 3 to the 6. Very good. So, now, as I have the value of y, I have to substitute that in any of the four equations so you have to choose the simplest equation so if i look at equation one i have 7x plus 11y equal to 1 equation 2 8x plus 13y equal to 2 and equation 3 56x plus 88y equal to 8 equation 4 56x plus 91y equal to 14 so which one is the simplest equation can you tell hmm? Come on yes it seems that equation one has a simplest equation so instead of this y i have to place this y with what two because y is equal to two okay it's very very simple so that if i 
substitute this y with true that means that i will be left with this x the unknown variable okay so if there is only one unknown variable i can figure it out simple very simple okay bye algebra okay now next step is sub st tuting y equal to 2 in equation 1 we get okay let's uh, substitute y is equal to 2 in equation 1 7x plus 11 y equal to 1 that means 7x plus 11 into 2 equal to 1 7x plus 11y that is 2 equal to 1 so we will do the calculation this is algebra 11 to the 22 equal to 1 now I have put some term at the right hand side left hand side sorry I have to transfer this to the right hand side okay so this will become 7x is equal to 1 minus 22 1 minus 22 so this will become 7x is equal to 1 minus 22 is the larger number is 22 so it will take the sign that means 1 minus 22 is minus 21 so 7 can divide 21 here x is equal to minus 21 divided by 7 okay so dividing uh, 21 by 7 the value of x will become minus 3 now i have figured both the value of x and y that means that i have done with the calculation therefore x is equal to minus 3 and y is equal to true okay let's prove this as well okay so equation one we have uh, let's prove whether we get the right answer or not proof equation one is 7x plus 11y equal to 1 okay so I will substitute the value of x with minus 3 and the value of y with 2 okay 7 times minus 3 plus 11 times 2 is equal to 1 so let's see the left hand side is 1 as well as the right hand side okay 7 3 the minus 21 plus 11 2 the 22 so minus 21 and 22 the higher number is 22 so it will become plus 22 minus 21 is 1 1 is equal to 1 that means that left hand side is equal to right hand side so that means that i have the right answer okay that's all for uh this question okay